D4BC is actually an abbreviation for denial of service for Bitcoins. Uh, many, many companies, they do have presence in cyber. Uh, it can be either a website, it can be a social presence, a social media presence. Many of these companies, they even extend to the point whereby they provide the service or the products through the online portal. So what this, this DD4BC does is essentially going to any of these companies and telling them that you know, if you don't pay me, I'm going to take you off all right, from the cyber. All right? And that would cause the company a, not only a disruption of service, but uh, you know, customers would not be able to place orders all right, for services, even like for example, making travel arrangements or even your hotel accommodation arrangements. You need to get in place DDoS mitigation services. All right. uh, DDoS mitigation services, essentially what they do is they redirect the traffic and they would actually remove all right, the uh, offending traffic, all right, the ones that are not legitimate. Why Asian companies tend to be uh, in future a more attractive target is because uh, many of the US companies and European companies have all right, been suffering such attacks for the past few years and many of them have on board right, DDoS mitigation services and therefore as the criminals find it more and more challenging to extort money from the US and European corporations they will then move on to uh, what I call the uh, the weak chain, right, which is the Asian organizations. What is severely lacking globally is the lack of cybersecurity professionals. Not having the right security professionals would make all the expensive technology effectively, you know, I would say less efficient and, and you would not then be able to address the advanced threats that we are seeing today. Businesses need to ensure that they have a right partner all right, in Asia Pacific who understands the local complexities in terms of the laws and the compliance and the standards all right, so that they, they are on the right side you know, of the law when they operate in Asia Pacific. Unless you are a very large organization where you could actually have um, the skill set maintained in house. Uh, most organizations actually do not have all right, the, uh, the right people, the right skill set. And therefore, it is more prudent and as a, as a matter of fact, it's, it's more uh, financially more viable to actually engage a third party to actually do the test.